Akiba Backup for WordPress Professional is a plugin to help you easily backup, restore and transfer your websites. In this lesson we will be installing the professional version of Akiba Backup for WordPress into our websites. Once you have purchased Akiba Backup for WordPress Professional, you should check that you are logged in to the akibabackup.com website and then go to the download section. Here we can see the link to the latest version, so click to download it to your computer. Now, return to your WordPress site. Go to Plugins and select Add New. Click on the Upload Plugin button and browse your computer to where you stored the download. And once selected, click on Install Now. Once the plugin has been installed, click to activate it. You can now see Akiba Backup for WordPress in our list of installed plugins and on the left hand menu you will see a new link directly to Akiba Backup. Depending on your screen size you might find it easier to collapse the left hand menu. Right at the top we have a message about entering our download ID. This is required for updates to the plugin, so let's go ahead and fix that. Return to the akibabackup.com website, make sure you are logged in and select My Subscriptions from the menu. If you now scroll down, you will see your download ID. Simply select and copy it. Return to your WordPress site and scroll to the bottom of the screen and select System Configuration. Select the Update tab and paste your ID in the Download ID field and Save and Close. We can see that the message has now disappeared. Now we need to run the configuration wizard. Akiba Backup for WordPress is now testing your server and calculating the best settings for your individual websites. It is important that you remain on the screen until the wizard has completed. Once the wizard has completed, you're ready to complete your first backup. Let us go ahead and do that right now. You can see a warning message here that we are using the default directory for backups. This is perfectly normal and unless you change the directory, this message will appear. As we can see, Akiba Backup will store some information each time we make a backup. By default, it creates a description of the backup, stating the time and date that it was taken. And you can optionally include an additional comment, perhaps stating that you are doing this backup before installing another plugin. You can also add a password to protect the Angie installer embedded in the backup. For now, I'm going to leave them both blank and just click Backup Now. The backup process has now started. It is important that you do not browse to any other page until the backup has completed. Once the backup has completed successfully, you should click on Manage Backups. Here we can see the backup has taken place, with its description, a status of OK, the size of the backup and a link to the actual backup file itself. Depending on your configuration, there may be multiple parts. A backup kept on your website is as useful as a set of spare keys stored inside your house. So it is important you download the backup from your website to your own computer. You can do this simply by clicking the link and confirming. Once you have downloaded the backup, you can, if you want, delete the backup file from your website. Perhaps you are short of space on your hosting account. You can do this by selecting the backup here and then clicking Delete Files. You will see there is another option called Delete. This will delete the complete record that a backup took place. I prefer to keep that record and will just click Delete Files. We can see now that the record is still here but the backup file itself has gone. We have now created our first backup with a Kiba Backup for WordPress Professional.